Boom, Rudy. Boom. We're live now, my friend. Sorry, folks. We had a little tech difficulty there, but we are live. No. How is your day going, my friend? Man, my day is amazing. My day is awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm just going to share this right now on the watch party. Please do. Great, 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 great. Awesome. How have you been, my friend? I'm doing excellent. This was an amazing weekend. I cannot wait to hear about your weekend from um, there in, in the DMV, the D.C., Maryland, there. Virginia area. Cannot wait to hear about that. Um, but and th the, the uh, flight school Saturday morning was off the chain with Holton Bug. Oh, man. I, I mean, I saw a three and a half hour flight school. Right. Like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> There's got to be some nuggets in here because it can be three and a half hours for nothing. Exactly. Absolutely not. I mean, if you took notes, it would have been the size of a phone book. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been the size of a phone book. Well, man, I know you guys had a terrific time with the CEO on Super Saturday. We had, we had, not, we had a crazy time with Mr. Edwin Hain. Yeah. Tell me about it. That was great. I mean, we ha we actually had two sessions. Mm -hmm. We had two sessions. We had a 15-minute break in between, and he returned. If we're going to go deep into it. Uh -huh. you know, go for I, it. I just, yeah, we, we, we're going to go deep into it today and maybe throughout the week. Mm -hmm. And um, but I just wanted to understand, man. So how was your day? How was Saturday? How did it go for you? And, you know, what was your, or to take away from that? Take away from that is this: when 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 HB got into his, his rhythm, and you know he gets he has a rhythm that just that just blows your mind. <laughs> right. Um, he got off on the Vibrite thing, and he starts yeah. talking about Vibrite, and yeah. we've got this big uh, event coming up for uh, December seventh, eighth in Florida, and that's going to uh, uh, correspond with the kickoff of okay. Vibrite. But oh, he said, oh. with Uber, okay. drivers make. 30, 40% of their fare as commission. Okay. With Vibride, a Vibride driver will have the ability to make, hold on, to make 100% of the fare as commission. That's a, that's a boom moment right there. Boom. boom. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I know. 100% of your commission. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. This is mind blowing. It is mind blowing. And then he told us that there are going to be things coming out yes. that are even bigger than Vibride. What? Yes. I, yes. I, I mean, I just can't put my head around it because right now, I mean, I, you and I were sitting out there at a convention and we heard the Vibride. When we heard Vibride, we're like, okay, this is, this is massive. This is massive. If something, if something else is going to come after that, Bro, right. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what, I don't know how it's going to be like. I, I really don't know. I think there are going to be a lot of cardiologists with appointments after we hear about this. <laughs> we're going to heart attack and shock. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> I guess what? Those cardiologists will end up being ambassadors. Exactly. You know? <laughs> <laughs> because they're going to see somebody, they're going to have so many patients. They're going to be like, what the heck is going on? Exactly. There's going to be something going on which is actually causing all these effects, but I want to be part of the movement. It, it, you know, it, it, it just really, it, it blows my mind. The, the coolest thing was that uh, Mark Kitkart and T. Gray showed up, and they're both okay. dressed in their iBoomerang gear, both right. wearing red. Didn't plan okay. it, they both okay. were wearing red. They call themselves <laughs> the, the Tunicorns because of right. the Tunicorn uh, right. birthday right. cap right. that Cooper had on. Here comes HB. HB has on red. Uh <laughs> well, they're the Tunicorns, <laughs> you know. <laughs> The thing is, that told me right there, these guys are on such a level of synchronicity. Right, right. Such a level of synchronicity. Right. It's just wow. amazing. Wow. Man, you know, what, why you guys were having a great time with the, you know, with, with, with the, with the CEO? Uh -huh. We started off in Maryland strong. We started off really strong. Mm -hmm. You know, when we had, we had a brief presentation going on. We've been going on about a business and everything, and we had a Sapphire ambassadors coming over there and did a brief presentation. And man, I could tell the guests were like, "Whoa, yeah, wow!" The guests because we had the guests sitting right in the front, and you know, they, they had the, like the first two two mm -hmm. rows for the guests, right? And they were like amazed. But mm -hmm. you know what? 
I, I was just smiling. I was just smiling because when they did the presentation, they were like, whoa. I said, you, 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 didn't, you didn't get anything yet. <laughs> this pull, up to, pull up to we got Mr. Adrian Hayes in here. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Adrian Hills came in the room. I did, I think I did a little brief, uh, like little one minute video about it. You did. When he yeah. came in when he came in the room, man, he was on fire. Mm -hmm. He was on fire, and he gave us a train that was deep training. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's like the way that the way I received that training. Right. Man, that was that was amazing because it mm -hmm. talked about everything that it, it didn't just talk about our business, it talked about our life. Right. You know, right. life in business and family and relationship, all that stuff. That was real. I mean, that was so cool. That was so cool, man. You know, I, I heard on the, on the vitamin call this morning, with right hand in hand, what's about that training yeah. that Mr. Haynes did. People like Edwin Haynes and Halton Buds and T. Bray and Mark Kipkart, these guys get, get paid three, four, five thousand dollars an hour. An hour for training. An hour for training. When you're an ambassador, level 50 bucks to get in and a hundred dollars a month to remain there at first class the thousand hundred dollars a month and exactly. guess what you get all of this training included for free for free and it's not just training about how to grow your business as you were saying it's about who you are becoming how to right. stay in alignment and become that person right right People pay four and five thousand dollars an hour just for an hour of that, and we have it several times a week. Guess what? I mean, hmm. you are li you're literally being trained by multi millionaires. Yes, yes. I mean, this, these are guys. These are guys who are who have made several millions of dollars in the industry for their businesses. Like, I mean, I can only imagine sitting in the same room. Right, Mr. Edwin Haynes, Mr. Halton Buck. It's, it's, I mean, I was sitting right there. I was just taking my notes, taking my notes. Out of it. Then I, it kept reflecting to me. Right. How did I find myself in this position? Yes. Sitting in the same room with multi-millionaires, man. Right. And I, I remember both there in Vegas and back in, in Atlanta, you know, Mr. Holton Buggs and Steve Gray and Edwin Haynes, all of Mark Pitcart, they took time after the training just to hang out with us. Yeah. To talk to us. We're interested in what we're doing. Where are you from? How can we help do this? That doesn't just happen. And most people that are multimillionaires, they get escorted off the stage and carted away. Not these exactly. people. They're back down there with us in the trenches the whole time. Talking about being back down there, he was sitting right there. He came right. He was sitting at the front seat just like the guests. Oh, wow. He was, like eight wow. Minutes, he was sitting at the front seat. And afterwards, guess what happened? After the, the initial presentation, mm -hmm. he came up and said, hey, Let's give a shout out to all the sapphires, and they were, we did a rank recognition. They right there. Wow, man! I mean, wow. I mean, what kind? Where will you see such a leadership? Where are you going to ever see such a leadership? You, you're not unless you're part of an inner circle, an inner executive circle right. that you've been specially invited to. And if you want to think about it, Rudy, in a way, we're part of that inner circle. We're about 35,000 strong in that inner circle. Of course, yes. Yes, we are. And, and it's an honor. It's an honor for we to be here. It's an honor for us to be, you know, to be in this inner circle. Like, literally having interaction. Like, I mean, he was standing right there. People were taking pictures. You know, I've had so many pictures with him. I've said, right. I, I could say to myself, okay, Mr. Edwin Haynes, we're just going to have a selfie today, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and they do it. They love it. They do it. I mean, oh, you, you put out the woman T. Gray. They're on the right. on the on the dance floor at the at at the light of the at, at the light, light night club. Yeah. Oh man. That was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> well, you know, I, I got to thinking about all this and what you went, what you what you saw there, and right. you know, to the, the the vitamin call this morning, and that's something else, folks. When you're when you're part of us, you're part of this morning vitamin call, and if you can't. Uh, be on it live. It's recorded instantaneously, and you listen to it. And right. Miss Wanda George, which is one of our leaders, who had her on here a couple of weeks ago, uh, right. so our guest. You know, she was talking about about the decisions you make, and she had a quote that I thought was so powerful. She said, "Procrastination is the assassination, assassination of, of your destination." Man, I read that on my board as soon as I had it.
Yes. As soon as I heard that quote, I wrote it down on my board before I, leave, before I, before I left my apartment this morning. Exactly. Then, because procrastination is something where we keep leaving things for tomorrow. Exactly. And guess what? So what, what, on the same line, mm -hmm. I had an Uber driver yesterday. Mm -hmm. and he said he was a store manager in a store in, right. uh, in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. And um, at the front, at, you know, on the, on the desk, he wrote, they wrote something. Mm -hmm. No credit today, come tomorrow. <gasps> so... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no credit today, come tomorrow. So guess what? Every what? day has it tomorrow. That's right. right? Every day has it tomorrow. But, get, but for somebody who is living off your, your job, living mm -hmm. off tasks, living off business opportunities, mm -hmm. thinking about tomorrow, mm -hmm. you may never, you don't, tomorrow might be there, but are you going to be there? Exactly. You're exactly right. I'm not sure if you're going to be there. That's right. Like, why are you waiting to get things right? Yes. Yes. Forget about getting things right. Exactly. Exactly. You know, that was amazing, man. You know, the, every morning I, I listen to the volume of call, and then I also spend probably about 30 minutes listening to something that's motivational or a meditation, doing something right. for affirmation. And this morning I picked one. It was from Les Brown, who uh, is one of my mentors. I love this guy. And he said something that really got me to thinking. He said, if the road you're traveling is easy, you're in for a hard life. Absolutely. If the road you're traveling is hard, you're in for an easy life. And I thought about that. I thought, you know what? <clears throat> what if Steve Jobs took the easy road? Or Bill Gates? Or Disney? Or Oprah? Or Barack Obama? Any of these people took the easy road, where would we be? And then all of a sudden, I had this epiphany, and I said, what if Holton Bugs had taken the easy road? That's 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 a moment to pause and let's just let's just let's just sit for a moment. Yeah. What yeah. if those people had taken the easy road? We probably wouldn't have this. Not at all. You probably wouldn't have this. You wouldn't have Disney World. You wouldn't have Mary Poppins. You know. You wouldn't have anything. <laughs> Mrs. Travers would still have it on the bookshelf. You wouldn't have Mary Poppins. You know. <laughs> right. right. You, you, you think about that and you think about all the people who, who broke paradigms, all the people who said, someone said it couldn't be done, but I said, let's try. Right. That's where it is. That's what Mr. Bugs and his team are doing right now. Absolutely. You know, you're saying you're, 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 you'll, you'll never take on Amazon. And that's right. He won't. But what he's creating is going to surpass it. Absolutely. Because, let me... You, if you hear, if you keep listening to what people say about you will never do this, right? You'll never do this. This actually reflects me to a quote Mr. Edwin Haynes said on Saturday, man. Mm -hmm. He said this quote. I mean, that actually took. I wrote it on my book, and I right. said, you know what? I'm gonna live by this. Yep. In fact, I'm living by this. Right. He said, do not let anyone make you feel ashamed for trying multiple ways for success. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. You know, it, we I did talk to your family all, um, and it, it's it's in our calendar. Success is never final, and failure is never fatal. You know, it's absolutely. the courage to continue that makes the difference. Absolutely. And you may think, you know what, I I I just can't keep going, but just move a little bit. Right. Keep going a little bit. You sometimes have to stop and look around and reassess, but you don't sit down and quit. Right. Yeah. And people who quit, one of my friends, you know, one of the guys who were, who were outside, he was making a sign of decision and he said, what if I quit after a couple of months? Mm -hmm. I said, why would you quit if you, why would you start if you're going to quit? Exactly. You know, exactly. There's no reason for you to start anything if you're mm -hmm. going to quit. Because right. Because when you're thinking, when, you, when you're having your mindset, mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to start this, um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Just don't do anything. Right. You know? Don't do anything. If you have to do something, do it. If you have to do anything, go all in. Exactly. Exactly right. You know, and it, I, I used the analogy this morning with Kelly. We were chatting, and I said something about if you can't find the house you want on the market, build your own. Absolutely. Absolutely. Build your own. Build your own. And that's Get what we're architect. doing here. Build yours. We've got a tremendous, you know, architect in front of us. Right. 
but there's enough leverage there that allows us to build it for our comfort, to build it for the way that plays to our strengths and challenges our weaknesses. Right, right. I mean, we had a we had a very short good party on on Saturday yeah. after the event. Uh, so I had one of my one of my guys, Samson, and mm-hmm. he invited me over with some two with two ladies, and. Um, you know the way the way the ladies were so excited about the opportunity, right? And they they, they said, "Oh, I have, I'm not even gonna have to build a team because mm-hmm. the number of people I know who travel, right? Uh, a lot." I said, "Guess what?" I said, "No, no, 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 no. <laughs> people are not. We are not a travel company. That's I just right. want to clear that. I just want to clear that up. Right? We are not a travel company. But guess what? I want you to know, everybody that you know takes an Uber, right?" She said, right. "Yeah." So guess what? Everybody you know is going to be your customer mm-hmm. because they're always going to be taking our vibe ride. That's right. Everybody that has one of these is going to be your customer. Absolutely. Everybody. Absolutely. Man, I just want to. I just want us to dig into one aspect of Mr. Hulk, Mr. Mr. Edwin Haynes' training on Saturday. Go for it. He said, "Be organized." Mm-hmm. I mean, when he said that, you know. I looked at my calendar. I, will, I, I say, you know what? I'm going to look at my calendar to see how organized I am. Right. He said, look at your calendar. I went into my calendar and I saw, he said, he said, look at your calendar. Be organized. Being organized means, guess what? Talk to your family about your business. Mm-hmm. If you have That's a spouse, right. talk to your spouse. If you have kids, talk to them about your business. I just mm-hmm. and I, I just want to say something about that because when he said that, he said when he was you know when he when he, he first joined his the organization and he, he was starting out he said to his family he wanted to go diamond, right? He said if you go diamond, he said if I go diamond we're gonna have a sixty three sixteen party, you know? yeah. <laughs> and cool. guess what? Prior to that, the kids were always complaining that is never home, that is always on the road, that is never home. So he had a meeting with them. He said, listen. We are doing a business, and I'm building a legacy for you guys. That's right. You know, and I'm sacrificing every day to work very hard. If mm-hmm. I go diamond, we're going to have a sweet 16 party. So right. guess what? Every time he's on the road, when he returns, he said, Daddy, when are you going to be diamond? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> when are you going to be diamond? So now... Because they understand the business, because right. they understand what he's fighting for, mm-hmm. they are they are there to support him. Right. You know, they are there to support him, and those questions are motivations. Mm-hmm. Those questions are motivations for him to keep going. Because he said, "I've made a promise. If I go diamond, mm-hmm. we're doing a three sixty party, and everybody supported the three sixty party and event, and you know, and in, in effect, they actually pushing him to be diamond." <laughs> Oh, exactly. You know, you, and, and, and you hit on something there. You know, when, when, when I first got started with this and, and with other network marketing companies, I always put the product, the product, the product, the product. Right. What Mr. Haynes just demonstrated there is it's not the product. The product is the byproduct. Right. What we talk about here is the vision. His vision was creating a legacy for his kids. Absolutely. That's his vision. And the legacy, people will tell me, Oh, we have that in our network marketing company. And I don't know their compensation plan, but I can I can one hundred percent confident say, No, you don't. <laughs> because their legacy means someone has to keep buying that product. They have to keep being a, 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 a you know a consultant or whatever uh, right. of that product and working it. Right. Not here. You know, we pass on the legacy to someone else. All they have to do is to continue to pay the the hundred dollars a month, and then those thousands of dollars keep flowing because yes. people keep using what we've given away over and over. Right. Yeah. So you know, talking about having on the same line, I had a conversation. I had a, a four hour conversation mm-hmm. with a close friend of mine. Right. He's actually in another MLM company. You know, mm-hmm. it's a product company, of course. So um. I said, you are doing well for yourself. He makes about half a million dollars a year. Right. I said, you're making, you're making good money. Right. You have, a, you have two homes. Everything's mm-hmm. working out good for you. Right. Why do you do business? 
Wow. Also because sometimes it's different. You know, it's different for different people. You think about the reason why people start a business, but you really want to look at somebody who is fiscally, fiscally successful, you know, right. has money, has, you know, everything is going all right. But mm -hmm. why are you doing this business? He said, man, to be honest with you, I am looking for an opportunity where if I'm not here today, something is going to be taken care of my family. Wow. If wow. I'm doing an investment, I can invest, I can buy a share in a company, whatever. Right. But I want something that creates a legacy. Mm -hmm. I said, so the word legacy is what got you into being into business. He said, yes. I said, listen, take for example, you're not in today, right? right? Some and your customer stops buying your product. Right. Said, How long have you been in this company? You've been in the company for like eight months. Mm -hmm. And some your customer stops buying your product. And I can, I, sh I can assure you that the very first customer whom you sold your product to is not in your database today. That's right. That's right. That I can assure you. I can put a bet for that. Mm -hmm. He smiled. I said, got it. Mm -hmm. I said, so the, the, the thing is, a customer will only stay a customer because they keep buying your product. And now, <laughs> as soon as that customer realizes that they can have, actually get that product somewhere else for cheaper with almost the same value, mm -hmm. they are not going to keep buying your product. That's right. That's right. After if, you go, if somebody goes to a grocery store, guess what? When they look at a product, the first attraction is the price. Right. right. When they get the wine or whatever bottle, and now they're looking at the quality of the product. Mm -hmm. Other products are going to add value to it. If it doesn't meet their criteria, they can return the product back to the shelf. But now, they can actually put other considerations because of the pricing. Mm -hmm. If a customer actually looks at your product and they say, you know what, they're going to buy a product for one month and say, I don't want to do this product anymore. That legacy has ended. That's it. Exactly. Exactly. But why not be part of an organization where I said, how long have you had Uber in your phone? He said, for like about a year and a half. How often do you use Uber? He said, I have my car. I use Uber maybe if I'm out of state, whatever. I said, okay. Right. So mm -hmm. do you have any reason to take Uber out of your phone? He said, no. I said, why? It's free. I said, okay. That's an opportunity right there. That's exactly right. And, and, and you just hit on something about, about the wine analogy. You know, I, could, I can go to my local grocery store and there's the wine. I can go across the street to... Total wine and get it right. so much cheaper, maybe right. to Walmart and get it even cheaper. But guess what? Our product doesn't work unless the customer saves money. Absolutely. And no one gets any money, not the corporation, not you, not me, no one, unless Nobody. the customer saves money. Yes. I don't know that that exists anywhere else. I mean, because at the end of the day, we are satisfying our customers. That's right. You know, the customer we want, we, we, we are giving everything, all our energy to the customer. We want the customers to be super excited. Right. The customer should be happy because once the customer is happy, for example, if a customer goes on their website and they right. see a thousand dollar discount, mm -hmm. they're so excited. Exactly. <laughs> exactly right. Exactly right. And we're going to do that tonight at the good party I'm having. We're going to go out there. We're going to look at these and see real life discounts with it. Uh, Peggy just asked, did this guy sign up yet with you that you were talking about? This guy, he says he took a boomerang. He actually uh -huh. took a boomerang. He took a boomerang that same night. He said he's traveling um, next week. As soon as he returns, then he's going to sign up. <laughs> that is awesome. She also had a great comment here. She said, people cannot afford not to do this. I mean, that, if, if you ever thought about the, 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 the saying, you're leaving money on the table? Right. Guess what? You're leaving a bank on the table here. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. You know what? Talking about bank, Mr. Adrian here said, you know, it's much harder to be poor than it is to be rich. It is. Absolutely. Much harder. Because, because guess what? If you are poor, mm -hmm. the banks increase your interest rate. Exactly. And they, because... They, they, they want you to actually stay poor. Mm -hmm. He said when he went to the, when he goes to the bank, before he becomes a millionaire, he, when he goes to the bank, and everybody's going to be like, oh, you know, he's going to sit here, just sit like regular clients. He said, now if I go to the bank, they put, oh, Mr. Haynes, no, you're a private client. He yeah. said, no, I needed the respect then, not now. I already earned the respect by being a millionaire. Now, right. I don't need your respect anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That is so true. It's much harder. It's just like, 
you know, if you want the easy road, your life's going to be hard. Absolutely. You know, if you're looking forward to that fixed income when you retire, right. guess what? It's going to be hard. Absolutely. It's Man, you know, hard. you and I have been on, on the call. I just want to say thank you so much. And for somebody who is watching out there, because we have a lot of training. I mean, we can, we can summarize three, five, six hours of training with this multi-millionaires in right. one sitting. Throughout the week, we're going to be having a lot of conversations about the trainings and what we learned so far. Looking at somebody who is out there, and the person is like, man, what are these guys talking about? Mm -hmm. This like boomerang thing, what is it all about? Go for it, man. How can somebody actually get more information about it? Exactly. I mean, here's, here's the thing. We've, we've talked about a boomerang. It's a free piece of technology we give you just like you sign into Amazon. You'll log into your own personal portal here. We've got travel. We've got wine. We've got destinations. We've got Boom Mobile coming, Vibrite. All of this, that's right. one piece of it. But then the other side of it is become an ambassador like, like you and I are. Ambassadors right. are people who give goodwill. And the goodwill we give is we give out this technology. You right. never have to recruit anybody if you don't want to. There is no selling. You just give it away. And right. when someone travels, you get paid. When someone buys a bottle of wine, you get paid. When someone pays their monthly cell phone, you get paid. Yes, yes. And the and best somebody takes a ride. It gets somebody takes a ride <laughs> on a vibe ride. You know, just, just just comment if you want an eye boomerang or tell me more if you want a TSA. We've right. got a lot of people I'm looking in the Facebook chat that are on here that have sent this out to other people. Get right. back with those people. If they right. invited you to this, one of two things. Either they are an ambassador. Are they getting your opinion about them becoming an ambassador? Why don't you become one too? Absolutely. Um, if somebody, if you're watching this on YouTube, put a mm -hmm. comment below on every channel, any channel that you're watching, because we have a lot of people who actually download it and share it on their page. If exactly. somebody shared this video with you, like Bart said, get back to the person because they have more information, you know, for you and how to become an ambassador. Thank you so much, Bart. Thank you so much, my, my brother. Well, I'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Uh, until then, you have a boom-tastic day. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs>